good morning and welcome back to another episode from Tech Expresso series. My name is Rashmata and I'm the event planner for Microsoft React India. Um, I'm here today joined by our very own host. Hey, Vivek. Uh, but before we start hey, this uh, session, I would... Hey, hi, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. So let's start today's uh, Tech Expresso session. And uh, but before I hand over the floor to you, I would request all of you to read our code of conduct. We are all here to learn together. So please be respectful of other people's views, understanding of differences, being kind and considerate in the way you engage. Uh, the chat section is open throughout, and we do encourage you all to participate. Our speaker, Vivek, uh, is here and will, of course, answer all your questions during uh, the session. So please feel free to drop all your questions in the chat section. With this, thank you all and enjoy the session. Over to you, Vivek. Thank you, Rashmita. OK, so let me remove this cool so uh welcome to tech expresso session um and um, i'm not sure how many of you know uh, what is tech expresso session and this this specific this session is the first episode of the series uh, which we are driving for um specifically for ai and we're going to have a lot of sessions on different topics uh, on AI uh, specifically. Um, before we get started, um, I just want to introduce myself uh, before we deep dive. Um, I'm Vivek, uh, Senior Cloud Advocate at Microsoft, uh, but I started my journey uh, with IBM and with HCL as DevOps Solution Architect, uh, being part of startup uh, which is Blackberg as uh, one of the head of DevOps uh, uh, there and uh, being a founder. Um, yep, so uh, my first role at Microsoft was uh, uh, strategy and investments role and uh, currently I'm part of the uh, cloud and AI engineering team uh, as senior cloud advocate. So um, today's uh, session uh, is basically uh, for uh, for for startups, you know, uh, how do how to uh, apply AI uh, specifically from uh, computer vision perspective, custom vision, computer vision perspective, how do you apply it to your application? So it's an applied AI session, uh, not really building new models or anything, but it is more of how do you apply it? And uh, Tech Express so series as well, you know, just to introduce the Tech Express so series, you know, uh, this is, a, you know, this is basically for startups uh, to learn new technologies which is coming in, and specifically how to use it with Azure, uh, and go back and uh, try out a couple of things from a technical perspective, right? So that is what uh, Tech Expresso series is, and this particular episode of the Tech Expresso series is the first episode of uh, the AI series which we have this month and also next month, okay? To, so to start with, uh, you know, the, today's agenda is more of computer vision and custom vision, but I want to uh, start with the introduction to um, machine learning, right? So if you are interested in understanding, uh, you know, what is machine learning is and what is AI, what is machine learning, I don't want to go deep dive into those kind of discussions because what I'm discussing here is, is more about um, how do you apply it, right? And if you're interested in understanding this, uh, there is amazing uh, content and amazing link, uh, which is the Learn AI ML, which is aka.ms Learn AI ML. I'm going to post that link in the chat as well. Um, if you if you go there, this is what you're going to be bumped with. So. So basically what machine learning is, is, is obviously you have a data and you're, you're providing that data to the 
system and system is learning from data and making some predictions out of that data right and that is basic artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is nothing but mimicking the um, mimicking what human uh, does and and that is what uh, ai is and machine learning is part of the ai system uh, which is a subset of ai and uh, basically it is taking some data and uh, learning from that data and you keep providing the data to that system so that it keeps learning it and it betters its uh, uh, knowledge on that data so that is uh, part of the machine learning but there is obviously there is a bunch of other things in uh, in a whole system right which is deep learning and other things uh, so i just want to share that uh, before i deep dive into uh, custom vision and computer vision right so as i told you artificial intelligence is basically a system is mimicking um, human intelligence and machine learning is 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 the subset of that uh, which is basically taking some data and it is improvising on that data so you are basically providing the data uh, each time uh, and it is improvising on the data which is which is part of it and then machine learning also uh, is having a subset which is uh, deep learning uh, which is basically uh, training itself you are not basically providing any data but it is training itself and performing the task so it is training on its own uh, using neural networks and uh, and then it is making its predictions uh, so you know machine learning you are providing data deep learning is basically it is learning on itself and now we have uh, open ai which is which is again part of the deep learning which is generative uh, ai as well the G, uh, chat gpt and other things which has come in which is part of the uh, deep learning so basically it is summarizing some data which has been input to it right so basically you uh, provide some data and uh, it is creating a new content uh, based on the data which you are providing to it right so that is something which is uh, been uh, is been uh, uh, coming in as well so we have a specific session for that um, the open air session is being scheduled for uh, you know on 28th uh, march and uh, will be delivered by vinayak um, as part of this series itself in tech expresso so you can definitely sign up for that and, and understand the open ai uh, models and how how to use uh, OpenAI and what it is and other things. So Vinak will work uh, with you uh, in terms of how uh, this particular uh, particular discussions will happen. So to start with, uh, you know, obviously there is one more interesting uh, thing which I just want to share is um, there are a couple of amazing uh, links within the Azure where you can also learn about different algorithms. Uh, both the links I will be sharing in the chat so so that you can take a look at it. So one is the AI learning part of it. Okay. The other is algorithm. So if you're a startup, you know, trying to integrate AI or build AI on your own, and you're in you're you know just getting started uh, these are the links which you you would you know want to uh, go through and you would want to learn all of these things and then uh, go back and see how you can uh, you know try a couple of things uh, the beauty is i am sharing one of the you know algorithm cheat sheet right um, so basically it has like if you have this kind of data what are the things you should be looking into what kind of algorithms you need to be looking into to train the day you know system with the model so this different kinds of algorithms which are there so this is an interesting link as well so just to get started uh, you can go back and try all of these things um so for today's session right so basically i am looking at a couple of things which is uh, i'm going to spend time in terms of uh, learning computer vision and custom vision. So we'll try and do a couple of examples. We'll go and execute a couple of learn modules and a couple of code. We'll run some code and see how exactly uh, you can bring in computer vision into your applications. So computer vision is nothing but bringing uh, 
artificial intelligence uh, to your system basically mm -hmm. either um, either either you you have a data which is a part of an image or it is a video or it is a uh, it could be um, it could be a through cameras and other things so you are relaying data as well so basically with all these different kinds of data how do you uh, build ai say for example you have a set of, of x-ray images which is uh, which is having you know which can which can be for tumor and if you have uh, trained the system um, to identify, you know, to basically understand what is a tumor and I, I, I identify which are the parts of the images is is for tumor. And then you go back and, uh, you know, submit a new image and it basically uh, gives back the information saying that, okay, this is a tumor, right? This is where uh, the whole thing is really amazing because you know, it takes it generally takes some three to seven days to identify a tumor. So if doctors can start the uh, you know the whole uh, you know uh, you know uh, giving prescriptions and other things uh, even before uh, the whole uh, you know even we identify it as a tumor, right? So those things can be brought in uh, using computer vision, and we had a wonderful uh, startup as well, which was. Uh, which came on to our scale up thursday show and discussed about how they are building uh, such kind of uh, products uh, from a healthcare perspective to solve um, to solve such problems which i just discussed uh, you know providing uh, different kinds of prescriptions uh, providing different kinds of therapies uh, for a different uh, set of people after they have gone through a surgery especially the neural surgeries and other things. So these are things which is being built through uh, custom vision and uh, we'll go through these learn modules and these uh, different set of things which is there. Um, let me go to this. So basically this link, if you follow this link and the link which has been shared in the chat, uh, we will end up here. So this is a bunch of learn modules which is which is there uh, for you to play around there is code there is examples there is all the things which you have uh, we'll just start with analyzing images but we will also see how to um, you know build image classification how to build um, object identification facial recognition how to do uh, the form recognition and everything so we will try and execute a um, couple of examples we'll try to code some of those things and other things right okay um let's start with understanding computer vision and try and understand uh basically what it means right so computer vision as i told you it is bringing in solution to the way you see the world um so as a human you see the world you identify a couple of things um, if you see a mug, you call it as a mug. You see it as a, you see a mobile, you call it as a mobile. You see a car, you call it as a car. So basically, you are learning it because of the data being input in, uh, into your in, given to you uh, from schooling. So that is the reason why you can identify all of these things. Similarly, how you can bring that to your application. That is what uh, computer vision service and uh, I'll talk about custom vision later, but computer vision uh, is what, you know, is this is the service which, which it is provides. So basically uh, it is about organizing the content. Um, basically it is about uh, identifying a uh, different set of uh, people for, you know, objects uh, and classifying them as these are the, you know, this is what they are meant to be. For example, if it sees a set of, uh, car it will say this is the set of cars these are the set of bikes and this is what it means and then there is text extraction so what is mean by text extraction is basically you have an image or a pdf and you submit this image uh, to a system it basically extract text and creates a structured format so you usually these images and pdfs are unstructured and you are submitting an unstructured data and that structure, unstructured data has been, um, you know, you are actually uh, creating a structure out of a, that kind of a data. The most important thing is uh, spatial an analysis, right? Uh, because there are cars moving, there are, uh, you know, there are objects which are moving and there are 
you know there are objects you are identifying in different spaces so you are mapping their movements and other things right those kind of things can also be built with the computer vision so if you are a startup if you are trying to build anything with respect to the way the people see things and you have a product which is having all of these things or if you want to build such kind of capability into your product um these are the best uh, tools to use uh, and and we will see how to use them as well so in a nutshell um it's all it all sees uh, in a in a pixelate so it is very simple even in your tvs today right even tv came in in such a format right it was there is a pixels in your tv if you go very close to your tv and see you will see small small square boxes so that's the pixels and that's where uh, you know each pixel uh, gets um, updated into binary code and then that's how uh, you will see the images the same concept um, the it it recognizes through these kind of uh, things and it uses it as part of the pixel values right cool so basically the learning objective of this particular especially this module is basically we will identify uh, understand the computer, you know what it is uh, computer vision is and we will we will see how to uh, execute it and try and see how how it exactly works so from azure perspective right there is computer vision and cognitive services and within this cognitive services uh, there is a computer vision as a separate service so if i have to show you uh, let me show you in the azure portal so if i come to the azure portal here right so let me do a search cognitive service so if you see here so i can have different set of things like for image there is one sorry for speech there is one uh, there's language um, there is you can see there is computer vision custom vision face api as a separate thing uh, which we are going to discuss or uh, azure open ai or multi purpose so you can just create one multi purpose cognitive service which will have everything with respect to all of these uh, services uh, which which is there so you can create one you know if you are using multiple of this and you don't want to create different different uh services uh, i want to manage it with one service that's where you're going to use which is uh cognitive service which is there and else you can just go back and create each one of them so that is what is uh, being discussed here um so you ultimately you will have a key and an endpoint um so basically what is analyzing image in computer vision so i've been talking about there is an image and it analyzes this image so what all capabilities it has what it can provide it to you right so one of the major thing is describing an image so if you just submit an image it basically describes what is there in that image so if you see if you just submit such kind of image which is there here uh, it says it's a black and white photo it is this it is having building it is having those things so this is what uh, computer vision does it provides you a description to the image and it you know it provides a tagging uh, to the visual features so basically you can tag uh, by identifying objects uh, detecting objects here basically you can say building these are buildings these are towers so it can add tags to it so basically it can ident start identifying um, some you know some some of the things related to those image so objects which is there in the image um, and also it is it also it can identify brands um, there are a couple of brands which is already there so computer vision provides already pre built model okay uh, you can also build models i'll talk about that as well so um, you know detecting face uh, is is one of the service which is which is also uh, been provided by uh, the computer vision service which we have which is which is part of the azure service uh, where it identifies the face um and you can provide the data and identify the face uh, as well or it is also having a prebuilt uh, capabilities to identify celebrities and other things mm -hmm. and identify group of people identify different set of categories so if you, there are 86 categories which is available for you to uh, go back and see there are domain specific which i told you which is like celebrities and landmarks which can it, it can um, identify and um cognitive uh, sorry the 
uh, computer vision, which is part of the Azure Cognitive Service, uh, can also um, do the optical character recognition. So what is mean by is basically you write something handwritten, or if there is already a, a data which is there in the image, or if you have a, some kind of things which you have uh, written uh, documents, it can identify characters from those documents. For all this, uh, there are there is a pre-built uh, model from Microsoft, and uh, there is a custom way of building it as well. So that is where it is called as custom uh, vision, and there is computer vision. And to go back to my you know, PowerPoint, um, there are three buckets um, in Azure AI, which is um, you know which is the you know one is the applied AI, which is the Azure Cognitive Service, which I'm discussing today. And within that Azure Cognitive Service, I'm only discussing computer vision and uh, custom vision today. Uh, but you know it is already pre-built models, um, Azure team and researchers are building a lot of models in the back end. Uh, and then they are providing it as a service. And within this service, uh, you can also use custom, um, custom speech, custom, uh, custom uh, vision, and other things. So there are a couple of uh, ways where you can also uh, use custom things, but there is also pre-built ones. Okay, and then there is uh, machine learning. Uh, Azure Machine Learning Service, where you can build your own models, you can bring in your own data, you can build your own models, and you can run it through pipelines. You can use the infrastructure which has been provided, uh, communities infrastructure, you know, and huge uh, set of uh, uh, you know VMs uh, as well to make sure that you have building the you know you're building the services. Uh, and you're building the models and uh, publishing those models as well. And there is knowledge mining, which is Azure Cognitive Search, uh, which is basically you go back and uh, build search from the data which you have. So nowadays, you know, data is there in different formats. There is HTML, there is PDFs, there is docs, there is, you know, in different set of uh, things like, you know, images and other things. So what do you make sense? How do you make sense uh, of this particular uh, information, right? Uh, all this data feed into your system and how do you make um, some some sense out of this data? So that is what uh, been provided here. So let's go back uh, to the one uh, where I was just discussing about what all things, what all capabilities uh, computer vision can provide it to you and how you can also use this kind of capability with uh, custom vision as well. So uh, from an exercise perspective, um, there is uh, there's a simple example. We will see that as well. So I'm not sure you can see this. Cool. So I've gone ahead and uh, created a cognitive service resource. So basically, it's very simple. So you just go here and as I told you in Azure portal, just search for cognitive service and either you can create computer vision or custom vision separately or you go back and say cognitive service, create one new service um, and provide the details you want to provide. Say, for example, this kind of series and say Central India, give it a name. Okay, and choose next and allow it, tag it, review, just create. So I've already created it. So I already have one uh, service with me. So if I have to go back to all services, I'm already running one service. Within that, there is keys and endpoint. So you have to choose the key and the endpoint, which is required. So take a key and the endpoint, copy these both and use it in the code. So let us go back and see this. So so we'll have to run Cloud Shell. And uh, within, within that Cloud Shell, uh, create storage, 
go to PowerShell and we can download the code and uh, get started with the code, right? So I've, I've already having one PowerShell, like you go and create one PowerShell here. So I already have this PowerShell ready. So if you just click on this button, which is here, uh, you will be able to get this and just select the PowerShell here instead of bash your here and just copy the code code is here and go to ai this is the code which is there and just type code dot it will open a vs code for you okay so now i have vs code with me i'm not sure you can see I have the VS code open for the code which has been here with me. Okay. So now all we need to do is basically copy the, you know, copy the keys into the code. Uh, the code, I mean, I showed you the key, right? So basically, if you go back and create something, you'll get the key here and you'll get the endpoint. So I've already. I'm already done that for analyze image. So I will end endpoint. So understand this very interesting because this code is basically doing nothing. So it's basically having a couple of um, couple of data and it is calling the API version and then it is using that custom or computer vision uh, pre-built model and this code is just using that. Uh, API and uh, providing the information, right? So what we are doing here is basically um, we have uh, we have updated the keys uh, in the code. So basically, what we have is an image. So when we have this image, what is that it provides? It provides what this image does. So caption. So this is basically analyzing the image. So what we are discussing in this first module is basically analyzing the image. So uh, it's basically providing what this image looks like right it, it suggests a list of things and tag and other things um you know it provides you the tags it pro provides you what is what is you know what is happening in this image and again this is another image which is there so let us try this uh, one image and see how this particular code will give you so basically we are talking about this image okay let's go back to the code so it's very easy to build so all you need is a cognitive service uh, created and with that api you're basically coming here and uh, using that api in the code um, and you have set of data which has been provided to that and to see whether the code is working properly or not so it's a pre-built so it is pretty easy to um, execute. So let's <coughs> execute this. So ultimately what you're showing is a woman showing her phone to a child and some, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so uh, there is an object in this image. Uh, what are the objects in this image? And uh, what are the relevant tags uh, we can add into this image? So let's go back to the image. So basically, she's taking a photo. There are a couple of objects. Uh, this phone. There's you know people. So this is basically it is analyzing this image, right? So it is basically it's a room, it's a person, and it's cell phone, and a couple of things. It's a store, it's a shop. So that is what uh, Prebuild does, right? It is already been there. It's not like you have built the model. Uh, as a startup, you don't want to spend time in building such kind of models, which is already be available for you. Uh, only if you are really building something very unique and you really need to uh, have your own set of uh, model being created and published and you use such kind of models, um, you can go make use of such uh, already pre-built models. And that's how you can apply AI uh, to your application. Uh, this is one of the examples which I'm showing, which is analyzing the um, analyzing the image which has been provided. Say, for example, you go back and say two, right? So there is so camera two. Um, 
it analyzes uh, that and it's basically a woman holding a shopping cart in grocery store and and then there is relevant uh, things which has been showed so when i say two it's basically this image so it's clearly stating what is happening in in the image right so that is what um, in a computer uh, vision does right so that is what's been discussed in this exercise so let's go back um, to our you know to our learn modules and then we will see what's with the classification of the image so now until now we what we did was to analyze the image now we want to classify these images right so basically what we are doing is there is bunch of things in the classification so you would use it in various format one of the example which i also discussed was the x rays and other things to identify uh, you know tumor and you know other things which medical conditions and other things right so that the, that's the thing and uh, by the way uh, we are going to use custom vision uh, you know for this and uh, we will see how to do it not not just go back and use the already pre built but also you can use you can use your own set of data uh, and build a custom uh, custom vision as well so uh, so to understand this uh, you know in a easier way is basically you want to classify a couple of things so basically you want to classify something into a set of class right you want to classify uh, all those you know different set of uh, uh, you know animals into you know this is uh, this is a cat category this is this category and other things right and there is a bunch of features the reason why you identify them is because there are a bunch of features cat looks like this and that is the reason uh, why we call it as a cat why this these kind of different uh, type of things are called dog families and uh, you know even though they look very differently but we we still classify them as dog families and this is the the, the main reason is there is a feature there is a class and there is a labels uh, you can you know add to them right so that is how uh, it gets done so basically this is a simple example of uh, angles these are the angles which you can see here is for these uh, different set of flowers and the moment those angles comes in it identifies as this kind of a flower this this classified uh, flower right so simple you know this kind of things are called as bananas this is apple this is orange right this is how it is uh, classifying the images you uh, provide more uh, more set of uh, images for bananas or apple uh, add 15 images of apple add 15 images of orange and other things and uh, you will end up showing that you know uh, once you add a new new uh, new image of an apple it identifies it as an apple uh, it's basically you, how you learn as well like you have a kid and you keep showing your apples every day and say okay this is an apple this is an apple and even this is an apple even uh, red color and the uh, normal kashmiri apple you know you have two different kinds of apples and you keep showing that as apple and it identifies as an apple right so similarly how do you do that in the system that is what uh, custom vision as as well and computer vision as well then custom vision is basically you customize it and it has been built on uh, deep learning uh, cnn models uh, and identifying those patterns so i do not go into those kind of things it's basically what we are discussing today is how do you apply um, apply these uh, ai into your application uh, when you have those kind of options right so so um, so coming to the uh, custom right so again as i told you there is cognitive service uh, you can create it as a general cognitive service or you can use it as a custom vision service and uh, there is obviously uh, there are different ways to do this uh, different ways to build this as well uh, one is we do have a custom vision portal so you can go to the portal and uh, build it or you can use our uh, sdk which has been provided to you so you can use the sdk and uh, build your own like you uh, upload images through that sdks and train uh, using those sdks publish your uh, model through those sdk code which you can write and then uh, use it uh, in within your code and um, edit to identify different set of things but uh, we do provide a portal for 
easy easier way to do all of these things as well um there are a bunch of things uh in the evaluation system which which is there uh which is obviously uh how much percentage of uh things got correctly identified what is the percentage of um model correctly identified were correct and correctly identified both of them are like recall and precision so um so basically you can find the average precisions and other things once you reach a certain level of av average precision your model is ready for um going live so you can go and publish it and once you publish it you can use it in different ways as i told you so you can use it in applications you can use it in anywhere so it's just a url and the key which is being provided to access it so so let us go back and see this as an example as well right so one of the thing which i just want to show you is um basically what we have done is this is the link to custom um, custom vision portal and there is bunch of like elephants and giraffes and i know lion so if i have to go back and show you the custom vision project so this is the uh, once you log in you will be able to see this and basically you can create a um, new project and you know just create a new project give it a name saying new animals something like that give some description saying to description and i'm i have selected my cognitive service um, so it basically picks up from your account so and it's basically classification you can see object detection as well you, there is other uh, things which is there so multicast so i'll be tagging per image so there will be a ting, single tag and this is a general domain so there is already um, as i told you this this whole custom vision is already been built uh with the deep learning algorithm with cnn algorithms and the back end with to match the patterns and other things um and to and you're just providing the data and you are mentioning which domain it is and then uh it picks up and it trains the model with the data which you have provided and and then it 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 uh it provides you with the uh precisions and recall and other things so now you just go and create a project um we just create a project uh you know this is for the custom vision you're building so see for all this right um i'm i'm not a data scientist i'm not using any kind of uh data scientist knowledge here um i am just a business if you think from a startup right i'm just a business i just want to make sure i want to bring in ai to my application um how do i do it and uh i do have these you know clicks and i can do run clicks here and say i add image and i'll go you know animals and giraffes and whatever picture it's there i'll say elephants and say okay so i can call this as elephants okay and all these 17 gets elephant uh, gets uploaded and so now what it does is basically i have uh, I've, i've added couple of images uh, from the elephant perspective so if i go here and say okay this is you know this is a giraffe and i'm going to add images and say downloads animals is lion so what i have done is i have tagged three different animals and i have uploaded three different animals um you know into this system and all i am going to do is to train this so basically we already have the training uh, so basically you can do a quick training or a advanced training but you know i've just selected a quick training because of the demo which we are doing so it is going to take some time uh, to train the whole um, you know system but let me go back and show you where i already have a trained uh, system which i already have right so basically this is the trained one you can see there are elephants there are giraffe and lion 
and there is performance so once you train this is the first iteration of the training as i told you um, this is not a you know a deep learning right it is uh, there is in the back end you know you keep training this uh, this is this is a basic machine learning um, there is a back end which is having already the deep learning system which is when you, all you are doing is just uploading the content and this is getting trained iteration by iteration uh, this gets trained so it basically the precisions and other things basically the test data which is it it takes in it it is basically uh, you know taking in the precisions and recall so when i say precision and recall is basically uh, identifying how many were correct how many were um, not correct and other things so if i have to go back and see whether it got trained let's see It's still training going on, so no worries. So let's go back here to the one which is already trained. Right. So there is performance, um, as I told you, and there is predict. You know, publish. So when you train it, uh, there will be a publish button. So when I publish this, so you can't publish everything. So you will have to go back and understand this precision. Uh, so basically, if you do, if you see her um, likely to be right, then uh, this number tells you it's likely to be right. Whenever you upload something, how many data is likely to be right, and then there is recall. You know, basically out of the tags which you have provided, how much percentage it correctly recalls, and this is the average, right? So this is what it is happening. And when you publish it, it becomes published, and then you will get a prediction URL. Even before you go into prediction URL, so basically I did run a couple of predictions and other things. So we will do some quick test. Uh, say, for example, browse from local itself, and say, okay, this image. What is this image? You know, is so it it basically probability tagged as ninety nine point nine percent. It is a lion, is what it tagged from an iteration one. So it's this is how you can quickly test things um, and then go back to performance. It's all here. And when you publish like this, how do I publish this? Again, I just want to make sure uh, I can show you how to publish things. So I'm coming back to my uh, example. Uh, oh, it is still taking time to train. So let us not waste time here. Let me go back here. Okay, I'm back to my you know already pre-built one before the you know this demo. So here uh, you go and publish it. Once you publish, you'll get a prediction um, you know API how to use this API, right? So you know uh, all you need to do is basically copy this you know image URL and the prediction key. And uh, I know that's what uh, you have to do. So you have added the image. We have done with the training. We have quick test done. So all we need to do is now get these APIs. That is what we have got. And so most important thing is to use these APIs in, in application, right? So you've just trained it. You just got data added into the custom vision. And you've trained it. You've published the model. You have to consume the model now. How do I consume the model? You have to uh, build it in the code. So as I told you, we already have PowerShell. And we'll go to um, classify image, right? So that's where we need to go. So we'll go here. So there is classify image. So I've already pred provided the prediction URL and the key. So that's what I've provided. This, again, does take the, you know, number any whatever the number you're giving animal number this is the, an example uh, github repo this you are providing the image url for testing this whole thing not the uh, you are not providing the data you know in, in a different way you're providing through a url uh, so as i told you if you see here uh, if you go back here in a quick test uh, you can either provide image url or you can browse it from local file system, right? So I'm providing through URL in the code, right? So that is what we are doing. Um, 
let me go back here so we have provided the url and other things and we are using the prediction keys and other things and we are um, we are also calling the api in this uh, through this prediction url right so um, all we need to do is to execute and see how this whole thing will look like right so let us go back and we have already done this so all we need to do is to execute one because one is a giraffe and uh, this is for testing purpose uh, we are providing image one i'm giving three or one whatever it is so if you give that image um, it says giraffe so if you give two or three it should be lion um, because in the github repo uh, if i have to show you the github repo okay let me show you the github repo too so what's there in this github repo i'll, I'll share the github repo in the chat as well okay in this chat um, if you see here there is data and within this data i have vision within this vision i have animals within this animal there is one two and three right for testing purpose right so this is what um is what i'm using and this is what is there in the code as well uh, if you see the code it is basically taking in uh, animals number here that is why we are providing the number in while we are executing this in this particular script so it is just taking in url this is what it is and it is taking in the content and it is running it so this is to, just to classify uh, the image uh, whether this is a lion whether this is a giraffe whether this is what so all you have done is we have added um, 17 images of different animals and uh, we have tagged them as these are this particular image is called elephant and we have trained it and now you provide any different kind of uh, you know uh, image of lion it it will try and analyze it as lion and that is what uh, custom vision does so basically it is so easy to build uh, that you have you know 100 images or 200 images and different set of uh, classifications you want to do uh, like the elephant one like the banana like the um, apple and orange you just upload all of these things here and then go back and publish the whole whole thing and then there is a prediction url which you have once you have this url just consume this uh, particular api in your application and boom you have your application with enabled with ai so that is what um, you know image classification does right so let me go back to the learn module again uh, this is the learn module which i am uh, discussing as well um, it is in the chat you can go back and take a look at it uh, we have completed two learn modules within this learn module this is this is a learn path in fact so if i have to tell you so so detecting objects in images uh, again this is very interesting uh, you know application of uh, computer vision as well so basically uh, it's very as i told you you know it's very important in in in, in healthcare which which is like tumor detection uh, assistance and building safety and all those stuff so we'll see how object detection work right say for example you have an image like this which is having various set of uh, objects within that image and you want to detect what these images are right there is if you see this is what i am looking at so object detection we did analysis of an uh, image we did classification of an image but this is basically identifying the image right what is this particular image is uh, that exactly uh, is what um, object detection is the the only difference here is if you see here it's in the square box so this provides you a bounding box for each of these objects right so for each of these objects there is a bounding box being created uh, within the system so um so let's 
let's take a look at this uh, this in you know in a closure so this again is part of the custom vision or, or cognitive service so when i say well custom vision or cognitive service it's basically you go back and you know create a cognitive service uh, there is a specific uh, service where you can go back and say okay this is i want to create custom vision or i want to use all up which is cognitive service like multi uh, multi services uh, at the end of the day you will get endpoints uh, and the key so that is what it means and it does image tagging so you again as i told you, you can either use it with uh, sdks or you can use it with custom portal uh, again it is part of the training and evaluation uh, it's having its own training and recall and uh, here there is a little bit of things because um, you know both, uh, you know, it basically it's identification through bounded box, right? So that is one of the things. Once you've done the uh, prediction, once you're ready with precisions and recall, it is a valid one and you are ready to go live. So just publish this again and then you can make use of this. We will try and see uh, one of the example. Uh, we will uh, try and execute this uh, example as well, like custom vision you have. Again, I mean, I'm, I'm not spent time in creating all of this again. So all I'm uh, studying is you have traffic images. So once you have this traffic image, um, just download this traffic images and just upload those images within uh, within the system. While you upload, most important thing is identify. You can actually identify, uh, tag a couple of things like these are the cycle. This is what you know, different set of things uh, so that it can identify these objects differently. And once it is identified, this is a cycle, this is a pedestrian, this is a dog. And, you know, in the image, it starts identifying this different set of people. And once it is trained, again, the same way we trained it, we trained the previous example. Um, once we have a we have couple of things ready with the precision and recall and everything, um, you just have to go back and test it using similar stuff, right? So, so that is the thing. Uh, there is one quick test you can run, and then you get again uh, get a, a prediction API for you to use. There is, uh, you know, image URL you get, and then there is prediction keys you are going to get. Take those keys and take those link and just apply it into the code, and again. You it's not just about publishing these uh, models. It's also about consuming these models. And how do you consume it? Through the code, which is there. So you can actually try this out. This particular example, you can try it out um, using similar approach, which I used the last time. So all of these things are available for you to try. So go back and execute uh, this specific uh, learn modules so that you can get, you know, used to all of these things, make changes, add your own images, uh, try a couple of things, which is uh, which is for specific to your startup. So once you use uh, these things specifically for your startup, it is completely different. So you can see this, uh, you know, it can uh, predict which is a cycle, which is people and analyze. It provides you with a lot of uh, data. So that is something which is there. It's an exercise for you to go back and try it out. I don't want to retry custom model because it's all the same steps apart from changing the key uh, in different locations. So that is uh, what this uh, this this particular uh, module is all about. So again, I'm going back to the module. Uh, and this time, we're going to talk about um, analyzing face. So this is interesting uh, because Face APIs, uh, you know, is basically uh, you know identifying face and and also it provides you with uh, coordinates on these uh, you know uh, in this face uh, API, right? This provides you the uh, coordinates and also analysis. So it provides you the analysis and it does in this way. So basically, there are a couple of things which is uh, it provides and uh, you can also add your own set of uh, data and create a, a recognition, right? So there is a way to do it and you can add your own set of data and uh, build your own stuff. So there is a bunch of things, bunch of uh, use cases for this. Uh, I know there was, there was a use case where we 
you know in in one of the cities or one of the countries that you know, they uh, try to find missing persons um, based on age as well so there is bunch of uh, you know use cases of this uh, particular tool as well and uh, and this is again uh, you know facial analysis is also part of the video it's not just about uh, computer vision uh, but also it's also videos it's not about just images but also there is videos where you can identify people through videos and other things so there is a face api so if you have to go back to my again uh, cognitive services which is there uh, there is a separate face api detect and identify people and also obviously you know emotions which is there there are a bunch of emotions with, you know you can identify and you can learn more about it here so if you're if if you have a startup where and or if you are trying to bring in such kind of things into your startup where you want to identify people you want to identify faces and you want to identify emotions and other things uh, it's very important to uh, take a look at it there is a change uh, in in this because using it responsibly and you cannot just use it as it is so you need to uh, provide uh, you know you need to submit uh, form and I you know provide more details of how you're going to use it and there is uh, that's how uh, and there is a it's a limit access policy uh, for face api because uh, may it can be used in very differently so and because it provides you with locations and other things so that is why it is it, it is basically it is limit access policy so this is how it provides so as a startup if you are planning to use any of these uh, functionalities, uh, go back and uh, create these uh, service in the Azure portal and use endpoint and other things. So even in the exercise, uh, it's the same thing. You know, it's nothing different. So you create cognitive service, you go back to shell, uh, you change those um, configurations and just, you know, add your keys in your endpoint uh, which is which is the cognitive keys which which is there say for example find faces so if i have to go back to my portal that is find faces so here you provide the key and the endpoint which is which is nothing but my cognitive service key and endpoint because i have created an umbrella uh, cognitive service not the face api service you can either use space face api service or the overall cognitive service right so that is something which you can do and you know you know it's basically once you have updated you can go back and execute this code but since there is a change uh, if i have to show you this particular code even if i have the apis and everything set for myself and go back and execute this code right it is it will tell me that i don't have permission so there is uh, you know i need to go back and use it uh, responsibly so i need to provide um, details on how i'm going to use it in the form and then i get the limited access policies as i told you that policy is enabled uh, right now it just gives me the face location you know what is the location of this face and other things that's it not the um, how exactly this and now what is the expression what it is all that information if you need you need to apply for access so that is the uh, that's about face uh, ap you know face api which is there part of the computer vision um now we'll we'll we have two things left one is uh, reading text uh, with the computer vision service which we have so this is basically um, the optical character recognition so basically you are you do have some kind of you know uh, written text or pdfs and other things or image you know text in the image and other things you want to extract those things uh, that's what ocr is all about and that's what we are going to get through right so basically um, getting so uh, to, just to understand this you know uh, this part of the computer vision and cognitive service so cognitive service is an umbrella and computer vision is a specific service for this so if you were only looking at this then you go for computer vision but if you are looking for a lot of other things and within the cognitive service ecosystem then you are going to use both the things so the read api uh, is available for you and it provides 
it takes in the document or the image or the whatever the data you provide and then it provides you with the uh, different set of data so we'll just right away see how exactly it works uh, in terms of um, the uh, you know in terms of the code which is there so i have the cognitive service we already have it and we just open the code uh, we already have the code and we just have to go to the um, ocr ps right so there we have to go and update the keys right so what is the key we are going to update ocr ps the key and endpoint is not updated let's go and key find my key so here is the key and endpoint so this is the key so we'll update the key just to consume this whole thing and we will update the endpoint in the OCR I'm saving this so let me come back so we have the key we updated the endpoint we have the endpoint running so now we have to run this command to see what exactly it does right so basically this is the image it has been provided it it basically takes in uh, data from this image so there is a bunch of data which is there which is which is the text in the image right it is extracting the text from the image so this is exactly what it does so let us go back and execute this command and see what it does So, so it's just analyzing the image, getting results. So it is, it is basically taking. So if you see, notice here, it is also providing me the uh, bounding box uh, details on that image, the pixelate, right? Um, so if you see, it, it is picking the text which is there in the image. So all of these things are there on the image, like open seven days a week, friendly service, uh, fresh products, and um, North Wind Traders. So if you go back to this image, right? So if you see here, it is picking all of these things which is there in the image. So all this text which is there in the image. We can try a couple of more things. Uh, you know, basically, if you have this kind of uh, text, which is some kind of uh, document which you have, and you have a letter, and you want to run this code, right? Mm -hmm. All this code is doing is consuming the computer vision already pre-built, uh, pre-built model and so nothing as as a developer i have not built any any of these models these are all already available for you to use uh, this is a quick way to bring ai to your application so this is how you can do it so there is bunch of things it takes in and it provides you with data and all you need to do is to copy these kind of data into your database or in any of these format and um, make uh, you know sense out of this data so that's that's what um, this particular module is talking about and there is a read api which has been provided so again um, this whole you know learn path has six modules which will cover om almost everything uh, azure has from a platform as a per service a solution perspective for uh, consuming computer vision and also building custom vision so again you know what we did now was to read text, but we never uh, went into understanding the forms, right? So basically, if you go back and uh, understand uh, form recognitions, so basically you can go back and see this is a form which is there, and it uh, try and, which is nothing but um, a receipt which you get. You know, you know, if you just go buy a, a coffee in a filter coffee hotel or a Starbucks hotel or any of those hotels, right? You get a simple copy and. You want to upload this copy onto database a uh, very common use case right uh, uh, you know uh, i travel into different places uh, as part of official travel and i have these kind of different set of things i just copy this and i just take a picture of this and it gets uploaded as part of the data which needs to be filled in the form and then i can just up, you know submit that form for my manager's approval to uh, you know get paid for 
uh, whatever spendings I'm doing at the travel, right? So this is a very common use case. And we've all gone through the trouble of losing these kind of things and losing this, uh, this kind of receipts, and not just losing these kind of receipts, but also um, not being able to upload properly and all those things, right? So there is a bunch of things which is there. So and to solve those many such kind of problems, uh, the form recognizer uh, is nothing but it, it just, you can use a pre-built receipt model that is, which is already there. There are two things which you can do, form recognizer. So it is part of, um, you know, uh, if I can, if I have to go back and show you where exactly this form recognizer sits in, um, there is cognitive service and you can use it as part of the custom, right? So there is there is uh, a custom model as well, which is where you can also go back and uh, build, add your own forms to it and create a custom model and, and also pre-build on top of that. Right, so let's go back and see the exercise so that we get more idea on this. Right, so so there is simple. You create a cognitive service uh, by creating, you know, either uh, a form recognizer service or a cognitive service. Now it is part of the cogn you know, cognitive service itself. Um, I've created and simple. I already have the code. I have uh, everything running uh, on on my PowerShell. Again, we need to go back and update the keys. So it is part of the form recognizer or PowerShell code. Uh, we'll go back here and go back to form recognizer, right? This is the one which we are using. Yes. Now I'll go back and go back to my all services and now all, all services which I have, let it go. Sometimes you don't, okay, here is the key. I'll go edit the keys and I'll go and add endpoint to this oh sorry endpoint is wrong because i picked location not the endpoint you will pick location when you're doing stuff right so now i've saved this um so now i'm going back and now we have this ready so all we have to do is to understand the form, right? So there is, this is the image which we have and we are just running this code and it basically reviews the form, right? So it analyzes the form and it provides you details with the, with the form, right? So let's run this and see how exactly this will work. Okay. So this, this is basically how you can review. So you can you either use your own forms, uh, like you have your own set of things and you uh, add that form inside um, this uh, service, customize it and it can uh, recognize it. So all it is doing is consumption of this in the code. So here is the simple URL to run. This is a simple recipe. And uh, these are the couple of things, you know, you're calling. And this is the endpoint version API, which you're calling, right? So this is an API which you call and it just uh, takes in that API and um, applies it. So the thing is, this is already pre-built. So this is already available for you. And you just have to go back and uh, uh, make sure that either you use the custom options which you have, either the custom vision uh, options which you have, or you can use the computer vision, which is already pre-built, ready made for you. Uh, any of these uh, different set of things, which is already available for you to bring AI to your application. So this is part of the, the first part of the computer vision, right? The first part of the AI series. Uh, the next session, which we have in Tech Expresso, which is 
uh, which is coming in on 28th, uh, we'll, we will talk about OpenAI and a couple of other sessions which we are going to drive in. Um, in April, we're going to talk about knowledge search, how to build your own data, you bring in your own data and use the, um, you know, use the different uh, set of um, different set of uh, models, because how we can build different set of models using the machine learning. Um, and you can use the infrastructure, which is there. You're, there is no pre-built. You are actually building the models. And one of the things which we are going to also discuss in coming up uh, in the series is is basically about um, how how to do the you know uh, you know uh, speech to text text to speech and other things and bunch of other things which we have right in in cognitive services uh, we will we will take a look at that so uh, if you have any questions uh, just drop in uh, you know in in the chat uh, happy to take those uh, questions i know this is a long session i've been speaking for one hour because i wanted to cover as many uh, demos as possible as many examples as possible uh, so that you can go back and uh, learn this uh, this is uh, this is the link which i'm using so this is uh, the one which is there uh, which is the learn module which is there for you to go back and try out all of these things use your own code build your own stuff use the sdks and try out and see how you can bring these things to your application um, in specifically uh, if you're building a startup, right? Uh, so if you have a questions, any questions, uh, just post those questions in the chat. Um, happy to uh, share those um, insights um, on different things uh, you have. Else, um, you know, have a wonderful day, wonderful uh, evening if you're and in australia and um and if you're going to watch this in 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 europe and you know, have a wonderful morning so let me wait for two more minutes rashmita so before we close the session Cool. I don't I don't see any questions coming in. So either people understood everything or nothing. So that's that's the thing. So anyways, I was pretty fast on uh, trying and completing this whole all the learn modules. Um, thank you for joining in and tune in for next set of sessions uh, which we have for Tech Expresso. There's a bunch of things planned and uh, happy to share all our learnings with you all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining in. Thank you, Rashmita, for hosting.